Well, hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Chad with Take One Film and Video here in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are talking about Panasonic PTZs with my good friend John Ballinger. How's it going, John? Doing good, Chad. Thanks for having hey, me back. Absolutely. I'll have you back anytime when you bring all these really cool toys, especially PTZs. We are doing uh, several videos on PTZs, so guys, make sure to check out all the other things that we've been uh, uh, talking about today. But today, on this video, we're talking about the UHS 500. So a little bit of departure for the PTZs, but it does tie in. We'll get to that. But this switcher on its own is a standalone switcher. In fact, it's it's all together. It's one, it's the chassis, the frame, the mm -hmm. panel, everything's all in one. All in one. And uh, it's 4K. And now, this looks real familiar because uh, we used to sell the... The ABHS 410. HS410s. This looks almost identical. And by the way, it was, a, it was a really robust, great switcher, but I see some things have changed. So I don't know a lot about this switcher, so I'm gonna jump in and let you kind of tell okay. us what we have here. Okay, well, uh, it is a uh, very same form factor as the 410, a lot of big differences. This is a native 12G switcher, whereas the 410 was only a 1080i. So every input is, is 12G, and, oh, wow. uh, and those inputs can be expanded up to 16 there's two expansion slots, so uh, and each slot holds a card with four additional SDIs. Okay, now are, are they backwards compatible? So if you have 3G or 1.5G, those inputs yep. take those? Everything works, okay. uh, up to 12G. Okay, now are, are you able to mix and match or do you have to kind of be You global? can, you can, you can uh, up, um, up convert from uh, uh, some legacy cameras from either 1.5G or 3G, and then uh, up to 4K if you have to. Okay, and that's great. And I'm, I'm, I don't even know the answers to these questions. I'm not, I'm putting you on the spot a little <laughs> bit here, but these, that's, that's really cool. And so it, it really makes it a versatile switcher when it comes to people, especially moving into the 4K world, or maybe they have a, an, another camera that's an older, older legacy camera they're trying to bring in, they can do that. It, it is the ultimate switcher if you're trying to future protect yourself um, or mix in a little old with a new or um, you can also have it uh, run everything in 4K and then down convert to HD. That's very cool. Now, uh, single ME and... Uh, single ME, uh, you might want to think of it as a, a ME uh, plus or uh, ME and a half. Okay. Uh, I can, it has four auxiliary outputs. On two of the outputs, I can do a downstream key and a dissolve. Oh, and a dissolve, that's really mm -hmm. cool. So if you're if you're switching maybe an iMag screen, uh, in correct your, uh, on top of maybe a, a live stream broadcast, you, you don't they don't have to be so harsh anymore. Correct. That's very cool. Another upgrade from the 410 was the 410 only had uh, one multi viewer. This has two multi viewers. Oh wow! And so and each can be individually uh, um, uh, adapted. And um, so this is driving that multi viewer now. Correct. Okay. And so I ha I have a 4K monitor here feeding four. HD uh, 1080p signals. So this so is our multi-viewer. These are our two multi-viewers here. Okay, very cool. And, and you know, we can do a 10A split, a 12A split, 16, uh, 9, 4. Uh, there's a bunch of different varieties. And the UND is there. Do you have any control over those or those preset the, uh, labels? Yes, uh, you can label those. If you, you can. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Now, um, now with Panasonic cameras and PTZ cameras, how does tally and everything work with this? Well, a cool thing is if you have a Panasonic switcher and a Panasonic controller, everything, uh, and you network them together, everything's over IP, uh, you just turn the tallies on. You don't have to make a special cable. Uh, they just work. So as you select uh, that camera, then the tally, tally light, light yeah. for that camera uh, <laughs> you know, eliminates. Very cool. Now, speaking of IP, mm -hmm. uh, we have been talking about the PTZ cameras. We've talked about the controllers. We've even talked about the video uh, shading position, the uh, mm -hmm. HRP 1000. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that I've, I've learned about uh, all the Panasonic products is that with all of these, you can mix and match depending on what your, maybe your staffing situation is. Mm -hmm. Because some people have maybe a couple of technicians, other people has, you know, a lot of resources, camera mm -hmm. operators, video shader, director, mm -hmm. engineer, but let's face it, the reality is that's not always the case. So the cool thing I like about all of these are that it gives you the, the ability to be um, a large facility or a one-man show. Correct. And so, it, for example, we were talking before we were taping mm -hmm. today that even with the PTZ cameras, you can control them from the little joystick right here on the uh, on the. You can. There, we've uh, introduced a new feature. The 410 had limited ability, but uh, this we have uh, uh, greatly uh, uh, increase the capability of the switcher uh, for PTZ control. So actually when you uh, push the button, you actually see the image from the camera and I can, uh, 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 
I can select the different cameras right here to control. And right on, right on your screen. Yes. That's very cool. And it has a built-in waveform and vector, which I loved about the 410. That's still in there, of course. Yep. So another thing I'm curious about for the switcher, 4K. Now, 4K often incorporates HDR. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about the UE150 mm -hmm. uh, outputs HDR as well. And the cool thing about that camera, it'll also do a simultaneous SDR output, which is really handy because sometimes we have either HDR screens or maybe an HDR broadcast, but we want an SDR version to be able to use for you know, another workflow. How do you work around that with uh, shooting 4K HDR on the switcher? Well, we have implemented a new feature uh, in this uh, switcher to where on the output side, I can, even if you're in 4K mode and if in uh, your 4K HDR, I can still output 4K and HD, HDR or SDR wow. on the output side. Well, that's really handy. That's, that's actually out of the switcher. That's not even the secondary output of the camera. So that's correct. That gives you even additional flexibility with HDR. Mm -hmm. Your products are designed to work together. And that's what I think is, is really cool. We are a solutions-based company. We want to have a, a complete solution. And so because of everything uh, that can network over IP, we have a couple of uh, features that are very cool for the, for the customer. One is called uh, Switcher Link, uh, which enable, it enables you from the, the controller, as you select the camera, I can have uh, the controller uh, switch to that camera on one of the, uh, either an auxiliary out or the, like the preview. That's very, very cool. Well, so many great solutions, and I know there's a lot more about this that we can't get into. We could probably talk for the next two hours about the capabilities of the switcher. Uh, but if you guys have any more questions or want to learn more, give us a call. We would love to talk to you about your projects, your goals, or what you're looking to accomplish, uh, whether it be for the switcher or any of the PTZ solutions from Panasonic. Our number is 1-877-81-TAKE-1. You can also email us at mail at takeone.tv. Well, John, thanks so much, man. It's always great having you here. And if you guys like this, check out our other videos on Panasonic PTZ products and switchers. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you.